Hi everyone, merhaba. This is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. Today we're gonna discover Süleymaniye Mosque. I'm very excited and uh, I feel very lucky that I have a, a friend with me, dear Fatih. He's a licensed tour guide and he's gonna help us explore the Süleymaniye area with us. Hi, and I would like to pass my greetings to the followers of your channel. My name is Fatih. Mm -hmm. I'm professional tour guide here in Istanbul and meantime I'm volunteer of Süleymaniye Cultural uh, Info Center. Yes, so they have a nice center very close to here. Really. We will stop there too. We are one of the seven hills of Istanbul. Mm -hmm. We are in the old city now, old city of Istanbul. You mean in the past that this area called as Constantinople mm -hmm. and specifically we are just before the Süleymaniye Mosque complex. I'm saying complex because it's a kind of social facility area, not only prayer hall, surrounded by many social facility areas. We'll be knowing more about through the uh, mosque garden and through the courtyard, we'll be getting into the mosque uh, prayer hall. Okay, so right now we're gonna cross from the side and see the interior. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. In the garden mm -hmm. on the right side, mm -hmm. we have a cemetery. Yes. And in this cemetery, we have also the tomb of Sultan Suleiman and the tomb of Hürrem Sultan Roxelana. Uh, she was the wife of Suleiman. After the mosque visit, interior visit, we will be coming here and visiting mm -hmm. this It's a, a as beautiful well. garden. Uh, I really wanted to not to miss this area because right now they have beautiful flowers. I don't know their name. We're gonna see it later. These are water taps that where people get their ablution, mm -hmm. wash certain parts of the body before they get before into the mosque. Entering, yes. There are four minarets in the mosque complex in Suleymaniye. Two of them have two balconies and the other two have three balconies. While we are walking mm -hmm. through the mosque complex, we see also now the soup kitchen yes. and then next to it Please. we have uh, the place where people used to stay there as guest house. Oh, okay. So they were cooking yeah. for poor people? Yeah, distributing them, these people. Mm -hmm. distributing this there were also these people. Uh, hospitals here, I guess? Right. Uh -huh. Hospital in the corner of the mm -hmm. uh, mosque complex. After the interior visit, we will be being there. So it's really there. complex. So really complex. Yes. Uh -huh. Building here mm -hmm. with stone. That's the place where Sinan plant and work on most projects. Oh, okay. So he bu first built this place exactly. plan and then uh, begin to build the uh, Right. Mosque. Give a start for the most complex. Okay. The, this entrance is also, it looks very beautiful and a good place to take a photo to. We call it as crown gate. We are in the front of the courtyard, the entrance to the mosque. It's a kind of transition area, uh -huh. makes people prepared, you know, before they get into the mm -hmm. interior part, you know, mm -hmm. prayer uh, area, and spiritually also feel themselves uh, ready for the prayers. I never thought about that before, but you really feel that, like before you go to the mosque, there is a front entrance, and you begin to feel the uh, difference from the outside. And these calligraphies? Yes. You know, at the top of the gate, mm -hmm. kind of reminders. For example, the one on the top part, mm -hmm. under the smaller dome, talks about and uh, reminding us not to miss the middle prayer. Middle prayer. Okay. It's kind of a rush hour. Right. right? They are this rushing time. and rushing and rushing mm -hmm. all the day. Yes. That's and we are people that you know easily forget. You know, so that's why these are reminders. Yeah. Let's talk about history, right? Mm -hmm. So, a uh, mosque complex was built in 1550 and 1557. Architect was Sinan, who was the famous architect of the Ottoman Empire. Mm -hmm. And generally, in the books, it is said that uh, Sultan Suleiman, the 10th king of the Ottoman Empire, dedicated this mosque complex to his wife, Roxelana. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Sinan says, the architect Sinan says for this mosque complex, this is his 
second masterpiece. Second I'm sorry, masterpiece. we are not at the first one. The first one is first in one the Edirne, is located right? in Edirne, Edirne the Selimiye okay. Mosque. Mm -hmm. It's a city uh, close to Greek border. Greek border. I hope uh, one day I will show you there too. Betul no, it's okay. Fixing. We can huh? continue. Well, uh, Betul, our camera uh, camera girl, who film us, says that uh, these are the kind of graffiti. Uh, made, made, made by janissaries, you know, the private army of the Ottoman Empire. Yes. And they, they, they put their, let's say, the feelings that time, you know. What is it saying? Can you find? It's not easy to see. Do you know what it says? So you have to know to when you say that. <laughs> but that's interesting, actually. Made of metal? Yeah. One story related with this place. If you live during the time of Ottoman Empire, mm -hmm. would you like to be a Janissary soldier? Yes. <laughs> Let's see. We will, we will be able to be a Janissary or not. Mm -hmm. what so do do? it's a kind of test that you know for the potential soldiers mm -hmm. if they make it or not. So if you are able to jump, oh, <laughs> then you will be successful. Oh yeah, you can. It's so kind, kind of, of that slippery. kind of test yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. And probably before it was like this. Right. Right. Okay. Now let's see inside. <laughs> So Muslims are praying inside, so they are very careful about the keep the carpet clean. Yes. So a little bit, you know, we should be careful not to touch, you know, with our shoes in this carpet. Exactly. So that's the Turkish style, you know, mm -hmm. how you can make it. That's, that's really a, a good point. It's easy for us because we do the same at home too. You just take it out like this. It's very easy. It is good for virus too, you know. You separate your uh, clean uh, socks from the you know outside not the press here but to the clean carpet mm. well if you are not in the proper clothes they provide you these for the ladies you can wear them easily and uh, to show your respect and continue to visit the mosque These are, these are uh, kind of lines that you know where Muslims pray shoulder mm -hmm. to shoulder. Mm -hmm. And you can see here where ladies are praying. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. Because it's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we are in the interior of the Suleymaniye Mosque right now. Big Dome welcomed us. Yes. So not bigger than Hagia Sophia. Yes, not and bigger. And it's not original dome that mm -hmm. built during the time of Suleyman. The calligrapher made it before different 19th century. The new painters came here to restore it and we have now a new form of dome. Has a effect a little bit from Rococo and Baroque style. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some platforms we have in front. Exactly the one in the middle is Mihrab. Mihrab mm -hmm. is the place where Imam stands and where all the Muslims, while they are praying, turn themselves. The Qibla, which means we turn the, Kaaba. Turn the, to Mecca, the Kaaba. The, the first place mm -hmm. of worship. Mm -hmm. And the ra raised platform on the right side, it is Mimber. The one that on Friday and festival days where Imam goes up and gives a sermon. Yes. One more platform we have here, mm -hmm. that's for the Muezzins, Muezzin Lodge. And see the upper galleries where ladies pray. Yes. You can see as well some mm -hmm. rare galleries. Those are for us. For, for yeah, ladies. We have good views actually from top. <laughs> right. And if you look at the carpet, you will see some lines. You see some lines. Mm -hmm. These are lines that you know where Muslims make lines and yes, touch like shoulder this. to shoulder mm -hmm, mm -hmm. while they but are But right now, yeah, right now we have uh, social distancing exactly. and these are the lines you can uh, show them. Uh, right. Exactly, pray, these are yeah. the points that, you know, yeah. each Muslim should be having his position mm -hmm. while there is a congregation prayer yes. service. Yeah, because of the coronavirus. Due to, you know, corona yeah. measurements. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about the chandeliers and the it has a story too, right? The eggs of the... Some of you have these questions. Mm -hmm. Why lights, chandeliers, very low level? In the past, we used to have oil lights. So it was very easy to refill them. Among these lights, we have ostrich eggs. I guess you know, right? The big bird yes. can't fly. Yes. So these are the eggs of these uh, birds. Do you believe that they keep spiders away? Oh, okay. It's not easy enough you know, to clean yes. those spider webs, you know? So tell me about the suit route. That's interesting too. Okay, 
if you look at that location, the back part of the mosque, there is mm -hmm. one balcony, and at the top of the balcony, there are four chimneys sucking the smokes coming from the mosque chandeliers. But okay. thanks to the circulation system of the mosque complex, mm -hmm. exactly they were gathering in that balcony area and sucked by these chimneys into a room. This suit used by most famous calligraphies. Is it so ink? It turned okay. into an ink actually. That's, that's interesting. There are uh, free brochures here in lots of languages. You can get more information. And in Cross Cultural Center, there are many volunteers like Fatih who are willing to answer your questions here so you can ask them too. One more detail before we go outside uh, to see the beautiful view. Uh, I want to get the info details about the calligraphies. On the right side, you see the name Allah in Arabic. Mm -hmm. with Arabic letters, Allah. Mm -hmm. On the one, on the left one, is the name of Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. On the top of the pillars, mm -hmm. you can see also the names of four caliphs. Mm -hmm. These are, okay. by the way, the common Turkish cultural designs we have here in mosques. And now we're gonna go see the architecture, the Mimar Sinan's yeah. tomb, where he used to live and right now uh, buried. used to give rent, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to the shop owners mm -hmm. and have an income. You see the copper pans here? He's repairing the inside. I was talking about in one of my uh, vlogs, I use this. From time to time, after use, you have to uh, cover the inside. We call it kalai, but I don't rem remember in English right now. So I'm gonna uh, probably take my pants here to, <laughs> to him. So after the shops, now we are for Architect the, Sinan's yes, tomb. Sinan. Don't uh, leave here if you come uh, before seeing him because all the things you see made by him. So it is really important to see his grave. And before it was his home, right? Right. And he used to live here? He used like to live here. The, from yes. the beginning or he came from another city? He was born in Kayseri. Kayseri, okay. Here is the uh, tomb of great architect Sinan. So here also, you know, it's more easy to see, you know, the other social facility areas. Yes. Here is the Taphane, where they used to welcome visitors mm -hmm. and give a place for stay overnight here. Like a hotel? Right, like a hotel. Mm -hmm. Free public hotels until three days. Mm -hmm. And then next to it, uh, the soup kitchen. And Muslims, before they get into the holy places, they use their right legs, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why on the right side, you know, on the marble, uh, the place was eroded. Yes. So I can show you the example. Yeah, that's really... So this is what I'm talking about. I should check the name of these flowers too. Okay, hold on. Do you know? Hydrangea. These are almost gone. So beautiful time to visit this area also. Gravestones? Yes. Who carry, you know, the heads? Mm -hmm. They represent men. Mm -hmm. And for those who have uh, flowers, generally they represent, you know, ladies. Yeah, like these. In, the tomb, uh, in front of the tomb of Sultan Suleiman, the Magnificent, and next the Hurram Sultan, Roxelana. Here we say hello, you know, to our uh, followers from Ukraine because it is believed that Roxelana came from, from oh, Ukraine. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. That's... The famous daughter of the Sultan Suleiman, Mihrimah, mm -hmm. also buried in the tomb complex. Yes. And inside the mosque, uh, the, in the tomb, they also have precious stones, right? Gems? Yes, mm -hmm. there are some stones that, you know, they mm -hmm. are shining like a diamond. Yes. Personally, so I don't have, like, detailed information, but when we go inside, definitely they will be shining. Mm -hmm.
these are holes that, you know, Ottomans made for the birds. In case, you know, birds needed water, here, yeah, how they That's can find. It's beautiful, yeah. We are in the terrace part. Yes, terrace. We see the beautiful Bosphorus. Right, there's a the nice view from here. Mm -hmm. The first bridge of the, the Bosphorus, Bosphorus bridge, Istanbul. Yes. Yeah. And these domes, actually, mm -hmm. on the right side, is the dome for the Hamam, the Turkish public bank. And two more madrasas also we have here. Yeah, the, like a university school, right, madrasa? Exactly. It was a nice day to explore, to seeing all the aspects. I live here, I'm from uh, Istanbul, but I learned many things new with you to, today. It was a very hot day, thanks to Betül and Fatih. We filmed this vlog to have a coffee break together. I'm gonna take you right now as a last stop to the mansion two minutes away from here to the uh, cross-cultural center. Uh, we're gonna see a Konak house there, so let's go. Super. This is famous for eating beans and rice. Maybe another time I can come to taste, but right now it's so hot, it's not a good idea to eat. Maybe in winter. One of my uh, favorite things in Istanbul, uh, old houses. I, we saw that in Balat too. Uh, this is the historical peninsula. We have lots of konak houses here, and here is where we're gonna take, uh, have our coffee. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you enjoyed with us uh, visiting and discovering all the beauties of the uh, Suleymaniye Mosque and Complex. It's our pleasure to welcome you here. Thank you for inviting us to be part of the video series. We want that all our followers make sure, feel free to come mm -hmm. and have their coffee or tea here. Yes, uh, give my name and uh, you're gonna have free coffee from yeah. <laughs> For everyone, you're most welcome. And also they have another beautiful room with Turkish cultural corner. I'm planning to make another vlog, maybe serve it there and I'm very excited about it. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay.